CEO, engineer, corporate leader, and citizen mom. Her story, amazing. Her journey through the corporate ranks, inspiring. Her name, Ursula Burns. The History Makers, the nation's largest African-American video oral history archive is proud to present An Evening with Ursula Burns. And now to our host, veteran PBS TV journalist, Miss Gwen Ifall. Tonight, we bring you the extraordinary story of one of the nation's most inspiring leaders. She's the president, the CEO, and now the chairman of the Xerox Corporation, Ms. Ursula Burns. Welcome, the most amazing person, Ms. Ursula Burns. Hey, hey homegirl. Yeah. <laughs> we have a little Panamanian roots. We'll get to that in a moment, but I'm pretending like we're best friends already. I want to start off by asking you the obvious question, the elephant in the room question, and getting it out of the way. Everyone always describes you as the most powerful African American so and so, whatever job you've achieved. Mm -hmm. Does it, that caveat bother you that you're not just the most powerful woman, the most powerful person in a particular job? I actually don't even consider it a caveat, it's a fact, right? And it's the, not the powerfulness, but the woman and African American are uh, their facts. If they stop there, if that was the only de descriptor, or oh, the only thing that I had going forward, um, it went, or looking backward at me, I, it would be a problem. But I don't, I'm not too concerned about that. So if someone said that you were good looking but didn't say you were brilliant, like say the president said not long ago, yeah. you wouldn't necessarily be that bothered by if, that. If they said I was the, the most powerful, if, the first African American female CEO, period. Not that transformed a company, that helped to grow a company, that, that uh, had great kids, that has, contributes to society. Hopefully the rest of that comes after the, the, the factual descriptor of you know, what I am. So. Tonight we want to capture the whole of what you are. A lot of people know what the headline is. They know what the comma is after your name, but they don't know the rest. So we're going to dig a little deep. We are both first generation daughters of immigrants. And I know it shaped me and it gave me a sense of who I am. I wonder if it did for you as well. It shows up in the relationship that my mother had with her kids and, and our extended family. This idea that we can make our future was fundamental to my mother and to the way that she raised us. And that came because she came here with my father to have a better life, to provide a better life for her family that was not even yet born, right? Because I was born here, my brother was, and sister were, were, were both born here. But she knew that this place would give her a better opportunity to live a more full life, and she wanted that for her family as well. So this idea that uh, you lay a foundation and that you, that foundation spawns great trees, and, and that's what it's all about. My mother was an amazing woman in that way. Her whole life was dedicated and focused on her kids. Everything that she did was about making her kids safer, um, being better fed, well, you know, better educated, more ready for the world. And that came because she actually saw opportunity. And that's, it's, I always you know, it's think it's quite scary to make a choice to move to another country and choose to be something else. They chose to be American. Yeah. And you know, the good thing is that some of her other family members, her you know, brothers and sisters had come as well. That made it a little bit easier. But she, when she got here with my father, who, who was out of the picture relatively early, so she, when she, it was her and you know, my cousins and my aunts and uncles, et cetera, it was clear that her purpose after we were born was you know, single focus on these three kids. 
And when you came here, you didn't come here to a life, as many immigrants don't, you, she didn't come here to a life of ease. In fact, you grew up here in New York on the Lower East Side. You want to show people a little bit of your background. Let's take a look. The year was 1959, and the residents of Baruch housing projects often sought refuge from the dangers of daily life. They included a single mother with three kids. Her name was Olga Burns. I think what is important, if you really want to know Ursula, talk to Ursula about her mother and the impact that her mother had on her life and the entire family. My mother stressed education. She always told us that that's one thing in life that no one can take from you. Um, so education was the thing that was stressed in our house. Ursula talks about um, a saying her mother had that where you are doesn't define who you are. And I think the importance of that is Ursula saw that role as a way of paying the way forward for her vision for herself. Olga's encouragement was not lost on young Ursula, and in 1976, she graduated from the all-girls Cathedral High School and received a scholarship to attend New York's Polytechnic Institute. She graduated in 1980 with her Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering. Xerox recruited her as part of its Minority Summer Internship Program. These are the kinds of experiences that you need if you're going to run a corporation like Xerox. As a result, then, we said, over the years, we're going to have to have women and minorities in those feeder jobs if we're ever going to have a broad range of executives to run the business. And that's exactly what we did. Now a story about one company's efforts to promote minorities to executive positions. This may be the most successful group of black managers in corporate America. Executives past and present of the Xerox Corporation. They call themselves the road show because they're on the road constantly pushing the idea that America's ethnic diversity is a competitive strength. And it was this push for diversity that led Xerox to underwrite the cost of Ursula's graduate degree from Columbia University, providing the start to a long and productive career. 